Welcome everybody, this is Niklas Hushmet and this is a new episode of me playing against the Play Magnus app. And today we're going to face Magnus at the age of 15. So you see something different? You can see me? Hi. <laughs> uh, so I actually want to thank my brother for allowing me to play with his phone. And he has an Android phone. And that actually makes it much easier to record and gives me this option to also use a webcam. So shout out to him. All right, let's begin. And for first time today, we're playing against Magnus at the age of 15. And it says, I placed 10 out of 128 participants and became the youngest player ever to be a candidate for the Penn Ultimate Stage to World Championship cycle. I beat Vismatan Anand 2-0 to win the Klitnir Blitz and won my first Norwegian Chess Championship after competing against my former trainer, Simon Atgestein. All right, let's see what he got. Starts with d4, and I'll go for the Nimzo. And we have, actually, we have board sounds this time. Hmm. And we have a Benoni here. All right, so this is kind of the main line. Now rook e8, knight d2. Hmm, it's been a while since I've looked at this. Knight d2 is the old main line. Now does everybody plays bishop f4. I think a6, knight bd7. And now h3. And I remember I always like some crazy sacrifice here. So why does white play h3? So if I go knight e5 now, white can go f Four. So here you do something different. Was it rook b8? Could be rook b8. Any other move that comes to mind? Yeah, knight e5, f4 is an issue. Knight h5, I remember, was another move that's often played. Knight h5 here or oh, rook b8 one of the two one of the two I feel like knight h5 was the move here. So let's do this. Knight c4, now knight e5, knight a3, yeah, that, that's how it goes. And exactly, now bishop d7. Is that right? Bishop d7 preparing b5. It's a crazy tactical line. Oh, now he thinks. That rarely ever happens. <laughs> yeah, g4. And now... I believe b5 followed by b4 is possible. Well, hmm. The problem is though that after b5, g takes h5, let's say b4, f4, my knight doesn't have any squares to go. So maybe that's not the way to play it. Maybe just knight f6 and f4, then I'll take on g4. But yeah, I need to I need to check this line again after this game. Because, well, you don't want to start guessing in such a sharp line, obviously. Hmm. 
Okay, b5, g takes h5, b4 only move, but then f4 is picking up my knight. So knight of 6 may only move, unless I take on g4 now, but no. g5, okay. Probably next he's going 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 to play f four. Now I need to go b five. So I can win back to peace b four. Knight e4. Okay, I need to take that piece, yeah? Hmm, knight takes d6. Interesting. Okay, so obviously the move I want to play is rook takes e5. But then he probably is going to go knight takes f7. And then I can go queen b6. So it doesn't look too bad. I have idea c4 check, a takes b2. <clears throat> I could also play rook e7 here. That's an alternative and take on e5, next move of the bishop. Another move is to take on b2, but I don't really see how this is benefiting me that much. Queen b6, hmm. Queen b6 is also interesting. So many options here, so I need to need to think about this for a moment. So if I go rook e7, he might still play knight takes f7, because if I take, he could take back and then plays e6 check, possibly. Well, actually, no, he can't do that, because in the end, the pawn on b2 is hanging. Hmm... Bishop takes e5 also looks kind of attractive. Because if the knight takes e8, I can take on b2. Bishop takes, bishop takes. Looks great. Bishop takes e5, knight takes e8. A takes b2, threatening to take him on a1. So he takes the bishop, I take back. His knight is hanging. His rook is hanging. And I also have some ideas of bishop d4 check, which are quite nasty. Well, he can probably go knight f6, though. And then uh, knight takes, pawn takes. And um, if I win back the exchange, I'm still... I'm not down in material, but he has a very strong pawn in f6. So I guess that option is out of the window. Wow, the guys, there's just a lot, a lot to think about here. Okay. Bishop takes e5, knight takes e8. There's also the move bishop d4 check here. It's also quite interesting. e3, I guess, the most obvious reply, and then I take on b2. 
but maybe he can just go rook b1 then. I take on c1, he takes back with the queen defending the e3 pawn. Hmm. Alright, let's return to our first move. Rook takes e5. Knight takes f7. I don't think other moves are critical. I mean, if he takes on a3, okay, I can play something. Hmm. Maybe even bishop takes a4. And then take the knight on d6, maybe. Okay, rook takes e5, knight takes f7. Queen b6, I said, knight takes e5. So if I take the knight, he take on a3 with the rook. It's not that attractive. What if I go c4 check? He can't go to h2, I'll take the knight with check. He can go to h1, I take, I play knight g3. So, probably goes e3. And now I take on b2. But maybe he can take the bishop on d7 then. And I can queen on a1, but he'll win my queen on b6. And I'm still down a piece. So that's bad. Hmm. So rook takes e5 might not work after all. So should we come back to rook e7? I mean, that's not the move I want to play. That's really not the move I want to play, but... Maybe it is a good move. Nah, I mean he could take on a3, bishop takes e5, knight c4, and he's up a pawn. And yes, I have some compensation, but not enough. Hmm, maybe I'm in trouble. I don't see any good continuation. <clears throat> so I guess I need to find the best one of the 
bad ones. What about c4? Is that it's probably just rubbish, yeah? Why well, just takes upon a3? Yeah, that's nonsense. I mean, not complete nonsense, but feels not that smart. So take on b2, takes back with the bishop. Hmm. <laughs> Not easy. Feel free to to either think yourself while I'm thinking. Or to fast forward because who knows how much longer this will take until I find what I think is the best move okay I'm looking at bishop takes e5 again knight takes e8 And then some variations were just were play and exchange down by have compensation, but can't really figure it out. Can't really figure it out how to do it. Yeah, it just all seems to work for, for white. Pretty much. I mean, it's close, but it just all seems to work. Hmm. So should we go back to rook e7? I really don't want to play this move. Yeah, knight c4 for example. I mean, this is just horrible. I can go rook e7. That would be just resignation immediately, pretty much. So is queen b6 a move at all? Can't really believe it. Knight c4, queen b4, b3. Looks bad. So I gotta take on e5. The question is whether with the rook or with the bishop. That means I'll lose the exchange in both cases, as it looks like.
Problem is if bishop takes e5, no, with rook takes e5 I also lose the f7 pawn, so I have to make a strong case here that I get something else in return. Hmm, okay, I have an interesting variation at least to try. So rook takes e5, knight takes f7, queen b6, knight takes e5, c4 check, e3, bishop takes e5, rook takes a3, and now queen d6, threatening bishop h2 check. That's at least annoying for him, for sure. It looks like the best bet I have. So I would say we'll go for that. Bishop takes e5, knight takes e8. In some lines I might have the same idea to bring the queen to the long diagonal, h2, b8, and threaten bishop h2. So let me just check. No, but it doesn't look that strong there. Okay. You guys probably thought I would never move again, yeah? <laughs> Takes, now c4 check, like I said. e3 forced, and now I want to take. Problem, like I said, is if I take on b2, he takes on d7, I think. Otherwise, that might be a decent move. Well, he also has rook b1. No, then I can take the knight. No, he'll take on d7, attack my queen. And then I can take the rook, yes, but he takes my queen. Mm. It's very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. So that doesn't work, so I'll take d6, okay, didn't see that move coming. It's a good move because it's stopping queen d6 from me, it's also introducing queen d5 check as an idea, which is actually quite a strong threat right now. And of course bishop takes a8. I guess that was the hole in my variation. Otherwise, it would have been nice. Okay, I can play rook e8. 
But yeah, it's not pretty. This is not what I was dreaming about. But I don't think I have any alternatives. Bishop c6 maybe? Doesn't feel like it's helping me. And I can take on b2, queen d5 check. It's going to pick up the bishop with check. It's bad. Okay. So, check. I need to go to h8 or play rook e6, but rook e6 looks very awkward. Holy moly. Tactics. It's giving back the exchange to get my beautiful, beautiful dark skirt bishop. And here I have to go knight g7. Otherwise, he'll play bishop d5. And then he might even take back with the b pawn. To play bishop b2, but he plays rook takes a3. And yeah, without my bishop, it's a very sad position. I'm down a pawn. No, I'm down two pawns. <laughs> I have no bishop. No dark squared monster. I think it's time to resign, my friends. I mean, against a human, maybe you could still hope for tricks, but against a computer? It's always difficult to find tricks. Queen b4, I'm thinking about, but just rook c3. Well, I could at least play, it, play that, and queen takes a4. But okay, I mean, the position is just gone. Yay, I went back a pawn. Queen d4, stopping queen d1. Threatening my pawn c4. B3. Hmm. Okay. I can take, because rook takes c8 and queen takes a4 is picking my queen. So my best guess is queen a1, which will lead me to Quite an unfavorable endgame. But maybe I have some chances there? No. Ah, it just takes with the pawn, of course. Well, that, that's much simpler. Much simpler. I thought he has to take with the rook, and then I'll take with the queen. And he takes on c8, and takes back the, the queen, and it's also losing, but this is even more so losing. So, yeah, let's resign. Yeah, this is pointless. Alright, I have to move my screen. No, where's the resign button? Ah, up here. Yeah, I need to work on those chess skills, very true. Uh, more so I need to figure out what to do in the opening. I mean, this is where it all kind of went wrong because 
I only had like an idea of what I was supposed to do, so uh, very dangerous in such a sharp line. Yeah, and then obviously I missed this one move in my calculations, but at this point I missed d6, um, but at this point it looked really difficult anyway. I mean, probably it's a better way to get compensation, but it looked pretty difficult. All right, nobody said it's going to be easy. We'll try again next time. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the game and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.